Get an update on your forecast now with Delaney and certainly the sunshine is a great change of pace. Absolutely. After a gloomy past few days, we're bringing in sunshine and that also means warmer temperatures. Now, as we look to our sky cam in Blacksburg this morning, we are still seeing a few of those clouds in this area, but as we just saw in Roanoke, quite a bit more sunshine. Temperatures are warming nicely. In fact, right now, most of us already into the 60s. We do still have a few 50s lingering in Covington, 57 degrees, 59 over in Hillsville, but here in Roanoke, we we are sitting in the middle 60s, expected to climb into the lower 70s later this afternoon, back towards Danville, one of the warmer areas now at 68 degrees. Over the next few hours, our temperatures will be slowly climbing. It's not going to be too bad out there. Notice right around 3 p.m. and even 6 temperatures into the lower, excuse me, upper 60s will continue to warm up a little bit from there before cooling back down 9 p.m., a temperature of 62 degrees. Satellite and radar quiet right now might have a little bit of a rain shower back towards Blacksburg right now, but overall not expecting much from that system. In fact, part of this could be just an obstruction being picked up on radar. Not a lot of us are going to be seeing rain today. It's going to be staying pretty quiet. In fact, over the next few days, we're seeing that band of cloud cover on our future tracker in the western portions of our zone back from the highlands towards the NRV. This is going to continue to track throughout our area today. If we do see any of those rain showers, they are going to be in that area where they're seeing a little bit more cloud cover from the highlands back towards areas such as Withville. As we go throughout the rest of the day, though, we're not going to be keeping that around for very long. Going into Wednesday evening and even into Thursday, we're seeing a few clouds here or there, but certainly not quite as overcast as what we've dealt with over the past few days. As we head throughout the day on Thursday, a lot of sunshine for us and maybe a few of those isolated showers. Once again, these are going to be along into the west of the parkway from the highlands and into the NRV as well. It was a very similar situation over the past few days as well. As for Thursday afternoon, while well, we are tracking that next cold front, that is going to be moving into our area come later this weekend. It's not going to bring us quite as much of that cold weather as what they are going to be seeing just up to our northwest, expecting to see snow in their area. Here we are going to see cooler temperatures, but really just back down to maybe the lower 70s, even a few 60s out there. So it is going to bring us some rain chances this weekend and into next week, but overall we are going to continue to keep that cooler weather well up to our northwest. Tonight our temperatures will be dropping down into the 50s and even a few 40s. A cold night and part of that is due to the clear skies that we're seeing right now. That's going to allow temperatures to drop pretty nicely over the next few hours. 46 in Hot Springs, 53 in Roanoke. Your 48 hour forecast keeping us in the 60s today back to the 70s for tomorrow. As for Lynchburg, your temperatures will be staying in the 70s as we head into the next few days. 78 is the warm spot on on Saturday and as for Roanoke, our temperatures will be into the 70s over the next few days as well, seeing those cooler temperatures on the way for Sunday and even the upper 60s on Tuesday, tracking some rain chances over the next few days, but overall they will be very isolated. Unfortunately, not enough to get us out of the drought that we are in, but we'll take what rain chances we can get. And well, if you didn't enjoy the cooler and gloomy weather yesterday, you'll enjoy the 70s that return tomorrow. Patrick, you know, what I'm going to say Bring back the 90s. <laughs> Still to come, the Eagles are set to soar next year. The full album, the classic rock legends will play when they hit the concert trail. And we're looking for the best of the best in Southwest Virginia. This month, we want to know the best place to get coffee. Nominate your favorite right now on WSLS.com. Click on top 10. You've got until Monday. Trivia night, $3 margaritas. Wednesdays, Mellow Mushroom Rona. Looking for a new vehicle? We've got a loan for that. Looking for a brand new home? We've got a loan for that. For over 75 years, Kemba Federal Credit Union has provided loans in times of need with better rates and service. At Kemba, we've got a loan for that. Your face is amazing. It's how you see the world. It's how the world sees you. But what happens when you forget about your face? When you neglect it? For something so important... Are you taking the best care of it? Healthy skin needs healthy skin care. Join today and get two 30-minute upgrades for free. Massage Envy. Keep your body working. For nearly 30 years, homeowners throughout Southwest Virginia have relied on Crockett Home Improvement. Crockett Home Improvement came in with a really competitive quote. They did a fantastic job. They got it done on time. In the end, 
I had a much better house. For home remodeling to additions, roofing and siding, Crockett Home Improvement does it all. Right now, save up to $500 and remodel your home just the way you want it. Crockett Home Improvement. Call or click today. At the Skolrud Law Firm, here's what we mean by helping people. I can call it any time for any reason. It's not what they can get out of you. It's what they can get for you. They will make sure that everything will be done the right way. He really does go to bat for his clients. He's very well known in the community. It makes a difference. It makes a big difference. You'll get a law firm that will listen to you. Helping people is what they do. Looking for a great sale? That will save you money? Now get free labor on every carpet from the Shaw Floors Collection for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Plus, save up to 15% on waterproof luxury vinyl, hardwood, and tile. All with free financing. Carpetland USA. We've got a floor for everyone. And that means you. Ba -da -da, ba -da -da. The only app you need for weather. The Storm Team 10 Weather App. Got a car repair you weren't planning on? We've got a loan for that. Looking at a home repair or remodel? We've got a loan for that. For over 75 years, Kemba Federal Credit Union has provided loans in times of need with better rates and service. At Kemba, we've got a loan for that. We turn now to stories making headlines in the world of entertainment. Classic rock legends, the Eagles, are hitting the concert trail next year where they'll perform a classic album in its entirety. Rick Damagella tells us which one in today's Hollywood Minute. The Eagles' famous hotel is taking reservations. The legendary rock band announces it will tour early next year with concerts featuring two sets, one dedicated to performing the Hotel California album start to finish, complete with an orchestra and choir, followed by a greatest hits set. The Hotel California tour kicks off February 7th in Atlanta, Georgia. I remember opening my eyes and looking around the room. I instantly recognized my twin brother. Here's a sneak peek at Netflix's upcoming documentary, Tell Me Who I Am. The film follows Alex Lewis, who awakens from a coma with no memories of his life apart from his twin brother, Marcus. But in helping Alex remember his life, Marcus hides a dark family secret. Tell Me Who I Am debuts in select theaters and on Netflix October 18th. When you go down all your darkest roads, I would have followed all the way to the graveyard. Check out the latest song from Halsey. Graveyard will be on the pop singer's forthcoming album Manic, which is set to drop January 17th, 2020, with a world tour to follow in February. In Hollywood, I'm Rick Damagella. All right, six minutes away to the bottom of the hour. Daytime Blue Ridge is coming your way. Bridget Curran, Lindsay Ward are here to tell us what's coming up on the program later today. I'm glad I'm not the only one who said, who is that? I don't well, know. I have no clue who that singer. I'm like, oh, the Eagles are back. Yeah, that was the exciting part of that. I'm no. looking very much She's up and coming. She's newer, I yeah, feel like. You'll have so. to fill us in. Yeah. All right, so we have a great show for you today. We have aspiring journalists mm -hmm. in the studio from Laurel Elementary. Learn about their Wildcat Wake Up show and why they want to join us in the world of television. They're right. behind our camera right now. Yes. And you'll have to see them at the end of the noon yeah, as well. You'll, you'll get a, a pop minutes. up. So we're really excited for you guys. It's also Wild Wednesday. So today we're learning all about chinchillas. We're going to have one on the show. All right. We will see you coming up in about five minutes. Stay tuned. More news coming your way next. This junior garlic butter burger is so juicy. The butter really brings out the flavor. Well said, Peter. You're kind of buttering me up. What What did you do? You're just a really good friend. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> Grab a $2.99 junior garlic butter bacon burger with tots while they last. I fell, and I'm not the type of person that sues. But it wasn't my fault. The stairs weren't safe. The battle for your compensation is between you and some insurance company. Don't let them try to deny you the justice you deserve. I shouldn't have to pay these medical bills. Put experience on your side. I'm glad I called Kelfis and Nackman. The call and consultation were free. And I got a whole lot more than I thought I'd get. Call on the hurt line. Kelfis and Nackman, right now. At Brambleton and Venn Computer, we know it's frustrating when your computer doesn't work. My laptop, it won't turn on. I've lost all of my photos. It's so slow, I think it's dying. At Brambleton and Venn Computer, we bring your computer back to life. You'll be up and running, typically within a day. 
My photos are back. They always take care of me. Bramlington and Benton Computer, we make your computer like new again. Since our humble beginnings in 1964, Hermitage Roanoke has been committed to enriching life's journey. We are a community of seniors who seek independence with a secure plan for their future. Visit with one of our team members today and learn why Hermitage Roanoke is not just a home, but a family. Join us and continue life's journey. For information and more, contact us at 540-254-5910 or at hermitageroanoke.org. Humera patients, you inspire us. The way you triumph over adversity and live your lives. That's why we redesigned Humera. We wanted to make the experience better for you. Now there's less pain immediately following injection. We've reduced the size of the needle and removed the citrate buffers. And it has the same effectiveness you know and trust. Humera Citrate Free is here. A little change can make a big difference. Humera can lower your ability to fight infections. Serious and sometimes fatal infections, including tuberculosis and cancers, including lymphoma, have happened, as have blood, liver, and nervous system problems, serious allergic reactions, and new or worsening heart failure. Tell your doctor if you've been to areas where certain fungal infections are common, and if you've had TB, hepatitis B, are prone to infections, or have flu-like symptoms or sores. Don't start Humera if you have an infection. Ask your doctor about Humera Citrate Free. Here's to you. Breaking news and alerting you first. Watch 10 News. Hundreds of artisans this weekend. Brooklyn Center Rono, free admission. All right, and here's the group we talked about a couple seconds ago, the fifth graders from Laurel Elementary School in Carroll County. They produce their own morning newscast every day at school, the Wildcat Wake Up. We're going to be <laughs> hearing more about that coming up on daytime in just a couple minutes from now. That is fantastic. Absolutely. <laughs> but in the meantime, I do want to tell you this. A Pennsylvania woman found a surprise when she lifted the hood of her car. Over 200 walnuts, what? look at that, <laughs> stored by a sneaky squirrel. Chris Persick said in a Facebook post that his wife called him from a library in Pittsburgh saying her car smelled like it was burning and it was making an odd noise. Wow. You think? <laughs> he told her to pop the hood and that's when she found over 200 walnuts and a ton of grass. They took the SUV into the shop where they found even <laughs> more nuts, but thankfully it wasn't damaged that bad. To avoid a, situa a nutty situation, it says like this, person could advise people who park outside to check under their hoods from time to time. I was going to say, how long was that car sitting there before she checked? It had to have been quite a while. A Squirrels don't work that fast. No, no, they do not. <laughs> They're fast, but not that fast. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Final update on the forecast. Finally, some sunshine. Absolutely, and temperatures warmer back into the 70s by tomorrow. Very isolated rain chances over the next seven days. I'm excited. We're getting closer to 80 degrees on Saturday, <laughs> at least for one day. There you go. That is our time together here at noon. We thank you for spending part of your lunch hour with us. We will see you back here at 5 with our 90 minutes of local news, but stay tuned. Day Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in to Daytime Blue Ridge. I'm Bridget Curran. And I'm Lindsay Ward. We have a fun packed yes. show ahead for you today. We're welcoming all of these aspiring journalists from Laurel Elementary. There they are, learning about their Wildcat Wake Up <laughs> show and why they want to join us in the world of television someday. I'm so excited for this. It's also Wild Wednesday. Today we're learning all about chinchillas. They may be rodents, but these highly social animals will surprise you. Bambi's back with more. Yeah, okay, so since we we have some future TV journalists yes. here in the building, and that's what they want to do. They want to be anchors and mm -hmm. reporters and producers and all the things that kind of go into this whole field. We want to know what you wanted to be when you grew up. So we took it to social media to find out what you guys had to say. Yes, I, I personally wanted to be a hairstylist at first, but then once <laughs> I got to high school, we had a news program right. that ran on Fridays, mm -hmm. and I was like, I want to be in TV. Yeah. Wanted to be a sports reporter. What about you? So I, I wanted to be a ballerina. <laughs> 
a dancer. Than, yeah. So I think I put, the, I put right? a little image up there. Yeah. So I, I don't know. I thought that was kind of funny. So oh. look, Jane said she also wanted to be a ballerina. Jane, great idea. And Chris Michaels, he said he wanted to write sports columns for ESPN. Yeah. Interesting. I know. Chris is really good with sports. He's always talking about sports, so that's really good. Cool. <laughs> Val said she wanted to be a veterinarian. So, um, yeah, look, there's our little image right there. The guy. <laughs> I love that. That's perfect. Yeah. Well, it's it, you saw the weather. It's a beautiful day. Good yeah. morning. I started my morning with a pumpkin scone. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Okay, well, take a look at this. Elephants had a good start to their day. Oh, my goodness. By chowing down on a 1,300-pound pumpkin. The Cleveland <laughs> Metro Park Zoo is celebrating 30 years of boo at the zoo by giving the animals a Halloween treat. So the elephants obviously had a great time smashing the pumpkin with their feet and then throwing pieces around with their trunks. And they actually ate it. They, mm -hmm. they finished it in less than 30 minutes. I mean, That's they are elephants. <laughs> true, yeah, but They wow. just eat more. I know, right? <laughs> Throwing another pumpkin. Well, a new guest at Boo at the Zoo this year is a massive nine foot tall rhino made of hay bales. Are we gonna see it? I, Ooh, I don't know, but yeah. um, I, hey, if it was close, I'd love to see it in person. Uh -huh. But kids can also trick or treat and enjoy train rides at this place as Look, well. Chowing down on that big 1,300-pound 13, 13 gourd. That's a, that's a big mm -hmm. one. Like, who got that there? <laughs> I'm going to see all the video there. I know. All right, so here's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity in honor of college football's 150th anniversary. I didn't realize it was that old. I 150 know. 150 years. Yeah. So how would you like to stay overnight in the Goodyear blimp? So this iconic airship is synonymous with Saturday game days. And now, for the first time ever, Airbnb is offering fans the chance to spend the night in the blimp while it's grounded in Ohio, only three separate one-night stays will be available for purchase. This is really nice. Look at the inside of this thing. It so is. So two guests can stay in the blimp at a time. The price, it's just 150 bucks a night. That's like a regular hotel. Uh, the prize pack also includes tickets to see the University of Michigan and Notre Dame face off later this month. And you can, uh, and gear uh, to uh, cheer on your favorite team and opportunities to book will roll out on the Airbnb website on October the 15th to score Airbnb suggests fans keep their eyes on the listing all day long. That is really, you know, I've been to the Goodyear Mansion. I just mm -hmm. went. Uh, my brother was in Akron, Ohio. Uh -huh. Beautiful. Nothing wow. like the mansion, but still quite That's a pretty nice. unique experience yeah. there. Well, we have some special guests with us today from the student-run Wildcat Wake Up Show. Yeah, Jada Belton <laughs> is an anchor on the show, and Kaylee Elledge is a reporter. So, ladies, thank you so much for being here this morning or this afternoon. Because excited? Yeah. Yeah. So, tell us a little bit about your show. Well, I'm the anchor. I usually tell the events and special activities for the day, mm -hmm. and whose birthday it is. Oh, nice. And I, I am on the prior reporter, and I usually go around getting jokes and doing segments like Book Talk Tuesday, Workout Wednesday, Throwback Thursday, and Fun Fact Friday. <laughs> that is These so are great segment fun. Ideas. You need to steal those <laughs> ideas, right? We actually have a little clip from your show, so we want to play that right now. Good morning, Wildcats. Welcome back to the Wildcat Wake Up Show. Today is October 4th, 2019. I'm Lucas Graham. I'm Jada Belton. We stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by the moment of silence. And our Wildcat, Wildcat Pledge. Hello. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is so cool. So where was that, where's your desk? Your news desk? Well, it's is that in the classroom? No, it's in a certain type of room. Okay. It's like right down the fifth grade hallway from us. So we just go there every morning. So how long have you guys been doing this? Uh, well, first we like had to get sign up an application for uh -huh. it, and then we did uh, an interview with Miss Bernard, and then we had to do an application, uh -huh. and then we tried out for it. Were you nervous? Yeah. 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 We, we did it at the beginning of the year, so ever since the beginning of the year. Wow, you guys are great. You guys have done. You did yes. a great job. So we're gonna put you on the spot. Yes. Yeah. Well, well first, uh, you guys have some of your classmates with you today. Because yes. how many, I mean, how many people does it take to really make the show? We're going to give a look at them. Mm -hmm. 13. 
13. I mean, wow, 13. Like so this is, I, I can't even count. One, mm -hmm. two, three, four, it's five. Like I mean, 40. Yeah. yeah, we have more than 40 kids here. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, that's something, and, and you guys want to do it. Uh, you yeah. know, growing up, this yeah. is this is what you want to get into, right? Yeah. So then, as mm -hmm. Lindsay was saying, yeah. So we're gonna put you guys on the spot. We're gonna switch places with you guys. You guys are gonna get to ask us the questions. Yeah. You excited? Right. Okay. Let's so we'll, do it. We'll let you sit in the anchor chair. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna move over here, and you guys sit over there. Okay. All right. So we're gonna be your interviewees. You guys go for it. Okay. All right. So Brittany, uh, what brought you all the way from Wisconsin to Southwest Virginia? <laughs> For this show, in this in this business, uh -huh. I mean, you have to always like be up and moving if you want to advance. So mm -hmm. hey, that's what we did. And do you have any advice for an aspiring anchor? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> well, in news, you got to have some thick skin. Uh -huh. <laughs> that would be, you know. Um, yeah. What would you say? Lindsay's the the anchor. Yeah. Well, well you, you just anchor. have to work hard. Just work hard and be yourself on television, Thank and um, and that's because people people want to see a genuine person. Thank so, you. Yeah. And what's the hardest part about your job? Ooh, the hardest part. Mm, I would say the hardest part is um, sometimes just you know it sometimes it can be sad news that we have to talk about, and it's really hard when you know people hurt you know children and things like that, and it can be really hard for us to make it through the day on some of those days because um, you know it can be it can be sad. So that's that's probably the hardest part. Okay. Yeah. When did you know you wanted to be on TV? Ooh, probably Ooh. In, in high school. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you guys have years. You guys have years. Oh, yeah. But yeah. you guys did such a great you job. You did such a great job. And you even, like, you'll introduce them sometimes as uh -huh. well. You have a little yeah. intro. Do you want to try it out? Look right at the camera. Yeah. You guys want to do your intro? <laughs> do you uh, <laughs> listen to them on the spot. I know. <laughs> Ready? Good so, morning, morning, Wildcats. Cats. We're here. With, I'm Kaylee Elledge. I'm Jada Belton. And we're here with Lindsay Ward and Brittany. Um, Bridget Curran. Curran. <laughs> Bridget Curran. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> yeah, that's beautiful. Thank you guys so much. Great job, yeah. ladies. Great job. All right, so we're gonna. Um, we have your information. You have a YouTube channel. It is up. Do you guys want to toss it to break? You guys want to say, "Stay with us. We'll be right back." Stay, stay with, with us. us. We'll be right back. Drew Carey, come on down. One, two, three. Long Island medium, Teresa Caputo. She says, I love you to the moon and back. How would she know that? I'm freaked out. Today at 4 on WSLS 10. Identity theft impacts millions every year. 10 News and Commonwealth Document Management are joining forces to help protect you. Have your documents shredded for free Monday at Schulz in Lynchburg. The 10 News Shredathon, working for you to help protect your identity. The Medispa at Ridgewood Hill can enhance your natural beauty. We have an experienced team led by board-certified plastic surgeon, Dr. Carol Ray. Would you like to bring back that youthful, healthy glow? Our Vampire Facial uses your own growth factors to make new healthy cells and stimulates collagen, improves skin texture, treats fine lines and wrinkles, acne scars, and reduces pore size. We are offering a spectacular deal on our Vampire Facial. Save $100 by scheduling your appointment before Halloween. Appointments available this week. The Medispa at Ridgewood Hill. Hey, can I get Cox Gigablast in my new house? Yes. Oh, what about my houseboat? Absolutely! What about my boat house? Aye, aye to Gigablast. Uh, and, and our, our boot house? house? Sure can. Yeah. My grass home? Yes, ma'am. My glass home? Indeed. Oh, really? How about my log cabin? You betcha. Woo! And my dog cabin?